Hey, in this fun video, I uh, thought maybe it would be interesting to take a couple models that I uh, previously did in my last um, few videos, which uh, was an alien head and an alien body and uh, even uh, a hand. So I thought maybe it would be interesting to kind of combine them all into one uh, mesh and see if we can kind of stitch them together and begin to create a character that was not made from just one scene, but uh, instead was created from different pieces and different parts and even different ZBrush sessions. So let's just see what that um, would entail and hopefully we'll have fun. All right, um, jump, let's jump in. All right, so this is the body uh, that I made in my previous, one of the previous videos and I'm pretty happy with this. I think that um, maybe it could use uh, a little more tweaking and um, to bring the head, I uh, lately I've just been saving all the uh, ZBrush stuff that I'm doing as tools. So I'm gonna, um, let's see, I'm gonna go to, uh, let's go to a new one and just load a tool. So uh, I think creature head was the other one. Yeah, so here I have a creature head and I have the body and might as well bring the hand as well. I'm gonna load another tool and let's look at this hand. All right, so cool. So I have the, uh, the hand uh, then I have the body and I have the head and um, how do we combine all these so these are all created as different sessions different sub tools I mean different uh, yeah different tools not sub tools but different tools um, so let's see so if I go to the head um, for me to uh, bring in the I mean if I go to the body for me to bring the head in here uh, what I should be able to do is go to append and you can see that everything, all the tools that we imported into the same ZBrush um, project now has these three things. So I can just simply uh, select the head and there you go. So it's, it was added to the same uh, tool now as a sub tool for the body, right? So I can select the body and I can move it into position. And obviously the scale is gonna be uh, off. So we can adjust the scale and honestly, I was not creating this head uh, thinking that it's gonna go on this body, but I'm just kind of having fun seeing what that would even look like. Um, so maybe, usually when you do, uh, you know, super strong uh, hero type characters, you wanna make the head uh, not too small, but the smaller, you, see the smaller the head is, the larger the body feels. But this is obviously way too small and this is obviously way too large. So you have to figure out kind of uh, by just looking and feeling, you know, what makes sense for this to be like a superhero uh, type character, right? So I think I'm going to go with something like this and maybe I can, um, you know, I can uh, reshape the body just a little more to fit this. but. Something like this, I think, makes sense. Now for the hand, I can bring in the, the other hand, but I'm wondering if maybe these uh, hands will work as uh, just as well. Let's see what the difference is. So let me grab the creature hand and I'll import that. And I'm realizing that actually didn't come with nails. And I'm looking at the creature hand and this hand, they're very similar, obviously. Um, and I'm not even sure I need this. I did like the nails though. I'm wondering why the nails didn't come in um, when I imported. Oh, that's why, because there are two different uh, layers within the tool, right? So for me to append um, the nails with the hand, what I need to do is um, I need to merge these. So let's go ahead and go to merge, merge down. I'm gonna say, okay. So now the nails are included as part of the sculpt uh, for the hand. So now I should be able to go back to uh, the body, which is this one. And let me try this one more time. I'm gonna go append, creature hand. Yeah, and this time you can see the nails came in with it. So that's cool. Let's go ahead and select the hand. And now I'm just trying to figure out if I, if I like the uh, old hand or if I wanna keep this hand. I think, uh, Maybe, 
this hand is a little cooler because it does have the nails. So let's let's go ahead and use that. So um, just again, just for fun and just as an exercise. So what I'm going to do is I'm uh, to to make this happen. I'm going to go into my uh, orthographic view, and then holding on the shift key, I can snap my view to make sure that this is indeed perfectly straight. So I'm going to align my uh, hand and put it in position, scale it. And it's clearly a completely different shape or size. Like the fingers are much longer. But I think I like it. I think it's going to be cool. So I'm going to go here. And let's go ahead and put this in position. Uh, if we wanted to, we can also uh, use this, which is give, will give us opacity, right? And we can see that the hand is actually in the right location. So something like that. Uh, very cool. And let's start uh, stitching things together. So how do we attach this hand to this body, right? And I'm wondering if this is a little too dark. Maybe I can brighten this up just so we could see this a little bit better. All right, I'm gonna hide this uh, head that's throwing me off. And what I'm gonna do next is, uh, the next logical step would be to chop the old hands off, right? So I'm gonna go into my uh, body layer and let's go ahead and figure out how we can chop this off. If I hold on Control and Shift, and I'm gonna grab, um, I'm gonna grab this knife curve, and just make a um, cut where I want it to be. So I do have my active symmetry on, and keep in mind I'm still holding down Control and Shift the entire time. But if you hold down the space bar uh, with the knife curve, you can move this line. And anything that is in the uh, gradient, the dark gradient uh, part, that's going to be the part that gets sliced off, right? So um, if I release Control and Shift, I can now uh, move this line, and then I can make a slice. So just like that, the hands are cut off. So let's go ahead and bring that other one back. And uh, next, I am going to. Um, I do want to make sure there's two of them, right? So before I do, I feel like feel, this feels a little maybe skinny. So I'm trying to figure out if I want to maybe inflate it so just so, so it feels a little stronger. So just a little bit, I think is good. Uh, and now what I would like to do is I'm going to mirror it to the other side. So I'm going to do uh, mirror and weld. So now I, now I have two of them. And now let's go ahead and bring this up. And take... Now, one important thing to realize when you are merging and combining things as different tools um, is pay attention to your settings for each one. So for example, my hand one is in the, in the uh, Dynamesh mode with 128. But if I go into the body one, you can see that this one is not, you know, Dynamesh is not activated and the resolution of the body is a little bit higher. It's 224. So um, what I could do is I'm gonna go out of the hands mode and just put this one on 224 as well. And now if I, uh, Combine these. That's gonna, that's gonna give me uh, sort of a better uh, result of knowing, you know, what is gonna get dialed down, or essentially it's gonna keep the resolution that I need for the body, right? I don't want to mess that up. So uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna merge this down and say okay. All right. So now you can see that both of them are combined and the resolution stayed at 224. Right, so now if I go back into the Dynamesh mode, um, I can start sculpting on this and kind of making sure that, that it's um, welded back together. So I'm gonna grab my uh, clay buildup brush and just start making some changes here. So let's maybe literally just draw in the part that we need for the connection. So this is very different from uh, modeling. Uh, this is more of a sculpting approach, right? You're, you're sculpting clay 
into uh, position versus. And then to get rid of this line, I can hold on control and drag to seal that up. I can hold on the shift key to smooth it, you know, but I don't want to smooth it too much because I, I do want to maintain that kind of a streaky feel, which I'm hoping uh, I'm going to be able to also uh, bake nicely into my normal map because I, I kind of like this uh, stylized feel of uh, of the skin. So, all right. So there you go. So now we just merged the hand with the body, right? And I think it feels pretty good. I kind of like this better than the uh, other one. Um, maybe we can fix some of this just so it feels like it's a little more uh, connected. All right, so after this, uh, let's go ahead and see if we can do the same thing with the head. So for the head, I'm going to uh, turn my head on. And let's do the same thing. I'm going to click on my head uh, layer. I'm going to check it out. Um, you can see the Dynamesh is set to 256 instead of 224. Uh, and of course, I can leave it at 256 and leave this one at 224 and maybe just uh, see what happens if we um, combine the two, just uh, to show you how that works, if it's if it uh, is different resolution. But before I do, I really do want to make sure that maybe uh, this fits into the body a little better, right? So we have this extra chunk here, maybe. Um, we can uh, fix that and it feels like uh, something is off for me with this head. It feels like the body is very muscular, but the, the head feels not as hmm. Let's see. I'm gonna make it a little larger, just a little bit. Yeah, I think that's a little better. That's throwing me off. I know that I'm also not in the perspective mode. So yeah, I think that's that feels much better. All right, so check this out. So this is 256 and this is uh, 224. And uh, let's go ahead and merge them and see what happens. So I'm gonna go to merge and do a merge down. Say okay. And you can see, uh, this is what I was showing, I wanted to show you, is that even though this head was in 256 uh, resolution, It'll, it automatically dialed it down to the lowest setting, right? So now it's 224. So now both the head and the body are at 224. So that's kind of important to um, keep your eye on, especially if one piece that you are sculpting is super high resolution and the other one is super low. So like if you have like a 128, um, make sure you don't lose some of that detail. All right, so uh, now to seal the deal and just kind of merge these two together, I'm gonna uh, hold on the control key and drag. And now, now I know that this has been all sealed up. So I'm gonna go back to my clay um, build up here and just, let's go ahead and make a better connection. And I see something uh, funky uh, right there on my scope, so I can just hold on the shift key and just kind of smooth this out and make sure that. Uh... That makes sense. All right, so there you go. So that is 
uh, sort of the process of taking multiple uh, tools and appending them all together into one tool and then merging and combining and sealing them uh, into one mesh. So now this is one uh, solid mesh. So uh, at this point, uh, my sculpt here is, you could see is one uh, point, one pretty much one million points, right? So it's, it's on the sculpting uh, standards these days, that's, it's, you know, that's pretty low still. But now um, I can make some big adjustments if I wanted to, you know, maybe make the shoulders a little wider and just make sure that all three components kind of work together uh, well. So you got the hands, with the shoulders, with the body, and I kind of like this. I think this is uh, this was uh, looking nice. The uh, next step would be to create the rest of his body. So maybe give him give him some um, legs and uh, let me just adjust this here. Yeah, so something like this is cool. All right, so thanks for watching this video. Um, I hope you. Uh, enjoyed it and I will uh, see you next one.